What is the revenant in doom? Its appearance is a tall skeleton with golden brown bones. It wears silver body armor that is attached to shoulder-mounted rocket launchers. There's some blood covering its lower ribcage and upper legs. As the revenant moves around, a heavy huffing sound can be heard. Then, when it spots a target, it lets out a demonic scream. The Manual of Doom has some information about the Revenant, and it says this. When a demon dies, they pick him up, dust him off, and wire him some combat gear, and they send him back into battle. No rest for the wicked, eh? You wish your missiles did what his can do. Despite both launchers lighting up when it fires, it only shoots one rocket at a time. Something unique about its rockets is that it fires two different types. A standard rocket that travels in a straight line, and a tracking one that has a trail of grey smoke behind it. Now at close range, the Revenant uses a strong melee attack, but it can sometimes miss. The Revenant does show signs of being affected by almost any weapon. It causes them to flinch back in pain very easily. Therefore, weapons that do consistent damage can stun a Revenant long enough until it dies. Since it says the Revenant was a former demon, it does not specify which demon it started off as. But the strange thing here is that the skeleton is very human-like. If the Revenant was a demon prior to being killed, it's hard to establish which demon it used to be. Since it has blood dripping down its lower body, it kind of reminds me of the Archvile's bloody arms when it resurrects a dead monster. The features on the Archvile, like the height, skull formation, walk animation, and body structure do look similar to a Revenant. Now it's just my theory, but I think an Archvile could be linked to a Revenant in some way. But I could be wrong, and maybe it could have been any other monster, and their skeleton just grew in size when it was resurrected to become the Revenant. Most of the monsters in the original Doom games started off as clay models. The sculptures were captured by video camera in different angles, and then rescaled, recolored, and animated for Doom's engine. But an early model of the Revenant shows it did not have any body armor. The meaning of its name is supposed to mean one who returns from death. The Doom RPG game had a few variations of this monster, the Ghoul, Fiend, and the Standard Revenant. When Doom 64 was released in 1997, the Revenant was absent from the game, but it did return in Doom 3, which was released in 2004. Its appearance this time did undergo some changes. Although still appearing as a skeleton, it now had no blood on its legs. The body armor on its chest was bigger, and its eyes were now green. But one unique feature that was not removed during its development stages was the transparent layer of skin on its body. This looked interesting in the early stages, and so they just kept it on the Revenant. Doom 3 also had a PDA file about the Revenant, and it explains how their missiles are able to track a target. It says their two shoulder-mounted cannons are controlled by its nervous system. This allows it to fire guided, rocket-propelled missiles. When Doom 2016 was announced, some early trailers had already confirmed that the Revenant would return. Its design would resemble the original in some way, but different in a few aspects. It still retained a skeletal figure, but with some mechanical tubes digging into some parts of the body. The abdomen area would also have some exposed organs. Its lower back had some flesh removed, which showed a portion of its spinal cord. The UAC report files on this demon concluded that it was previously a UAC military operative. It was created through cybernetic augmentation and repeated Lazarus wave exposure. Their bones would start to grow from these Lazarus waves and their flesh would tear off in the process. So the origins of the Revenant in Doom 2 were from demons, whereas in Doom 2016 they were created by the UAC from their own military personnel. The Revenant is playable in the multiplayer of Doom 2016. Its primary fire shoots double rockets that cause a lot of damage. But surprisingly, the Revenant does not take any splash damage from its own rockets at close range. Holding down the secondary fire will activate the jetpack. This ability runs off a charge that is displayed on screen at all times. 
When you stop using the jetpack, it will recharge on its own. If the jetpack is damaged, it becomes unusable for a short time. Even though the Revenant has one of the lowest hit points out of all the demons in multiplayer, it has a combination of mobility and power. The rockets are unlimited, so make sure to use them very often. Even if there are no enemies nearby, you can always shoot rockets down a hall or around a corner. Sometimes, an enemy player would walk into these unsuspecting shots, so fire away. So that covers the Revenant and Doom. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.